Indeed, today, the 29th of March, 2022, is historic. Historic in the sense that the heads of state summit have met and considered the report to officially admit DRC into the East African community. Indeed, now that is behind us. DRC now is a full member, has been admitted as a full member of the East African community commencing today. I think this is a big achievement to all of us as East Africans, but also thank their excellencies, the heads of states, for the vision they have continued to provide for expanding this community. I want to thank the Council of Ministers for the guidance they have continued to give and to the partner states for the role they have continued to play in ensuring that the teams that verify did verification and so also did negotiations happened timely. And that is why we are here today. And of course, my colleagues at the Secretariat. The work has begun. And meeting DRC is the first step. And I think the work has begun. And the vision of the heads of states was to ensure we integrate the people of of DRC in fully into ESC. In so that now DRC fully fills their members of the community. Now the East African community spans from, from Indian Ocean to the Atlantic and therefore from coast to coast as President Museveni has said and that is going to allow the East African community to remain very competitive in the African continent or free trade area. Therefore, when moving goods from one partner state of EAC, they will be easily be moving using Indian Ocean and go through the partner states of the EAC until to the Atlantic. And therefore, it becomes very easy now to ensure that this community remains competitive.